Welcome to Get More Happy. We invite you to journey with us as we find ways, big and small, to get more happy in your life. Hi everyone. Hi, it's Lisa. We're all excited. We have new technology. I have a little remote that lets us, uh, so you don't have to see our finger like on the button. And a uh, tripod so we don't have to prop it up on the Yeah, list. Yeah, and then it can fall down and then we have to re-record and everything. Yeah. Moving up in the world. Woo! So today our topic is leave room for daydreaming. Yes. Yeah. Which is a good topic. It is. I think that we often um, try to fill every moment. We have gotten, you know, we've talked about how our intention, attention spans are smaller now mm -hmm. because of social media and constant barrage and information. Information just always being 100% accessible. And if you think about it, we've, over the decades, we've shrunken we used to watch or sit and listen as a family to a radio not us, yeah, not us. our parents we're not that old for an hour to listen to a mm -hmm. thing and then you and i when we were kids the movies were two and a half mm -hmm. hours weird but they've gotten shorter and shorter and shorter not only that but have you know have you ever sat down to watch a movie you used to like mm -hmm. and it takes so much build up time to get to the yes and you're just like, oh, I forgot about all this. Yeah. Can't we get to the point? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Whereas I feel like movies now are, boom, boom, boom. yeah, the fast, fast, yeah. fast. Yeah. And I know myself. You know, now that you know both my kids are not home anymore, that I, um, I'm so used to always having somebody to talk to, mm -hmm. and if I, you know, always keeping busy. And then if I did have downtime, not having like a huge time frame of it. Right. So it's like, okay, I need to fill it. I need to fill it. And I've been talking about this. If anybody's yes. on social media with me, I've been talking about this. Yep. How do you fill the small moments? How do you fill the small moments? And I got on Duolingo yeah. Lingo, yeah. and I'm learning yeah. Spanish. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I find myself scrolling on social media. I find myself, you know, like... All yep. these different things, like, you know, I don't watch much TV, but, you know, watching TV, reading, you know, yeah. just anything can I do to fill each moment. Yeah. Because alone time's really uncomfortable. Yeah. And or you know, be. Yeah. And, you know, I went through this, what, three, remember when I went through this mm -hmm. and I was practicing being alone? Yep. And it, at first I could only do it for like 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I remember, that's smart, that putting a timer on uh -huh. there. Yeah. That's really smart. It's like, okay, I'm done now. Yeah, I don't have to be alone anymore. But I got to a point, and I'm still there, where I can be alone for hours, and I love it. And it's such a bizarre change in me because mm -hmm. I have all, I'm have i a very people person still, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I used to fill every millisecond yeah. of my day. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I have had moments in time where I'm reminded that I really enjoy daydreaming, mm -hmm. you know? So I forget, I forget that I actually like being with myself. Yeah. And then different things will happen. So my current one is um, a, a, a minister that I, I've always enjoyed is doing these small groups. You know, like it's a small prayer or meditation yeah. three times a week. And in the midst of the the heart of the quarantine, when things were 100% everything, Closed. yeah, I was feeling itchy, you know, just, yeah. right? Well, we all were. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we still are, yeah. you know. But so I started doing this and it is like she, it's a guided meditation, but there's long periods of silence in there. And at the first time, ping, 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 ping. But now I can relax into yeah. it yeah. and let my mind go. And it gave me such peace to be with myself. Yeah. You it's know? So I, I find it in the littlest things now. Like this morning, I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but I've had a pretty long week. And this morning, I never do this, but I went and got my coffee and went back to bed. Mm. And I just sat there and I was... You didn't play on the phone? Nope. I put the phone down. The dogs laid next to me and I petted them. And I just let my thoughts go to whatever they were going to. Yeah. And it was lovely. It's I do it sometimes um, taking a walk. Mm -hmm. And 
I, one time it was completely by accident. First of all, I'm not saying that this daydreaming has to be quiet because, right. you know, like, like for me, sometimes taking a walk with music, yeah, you know, helps lead to this. But one time I forgot my phone and I took a walk, just me taking a walk without music. And it was like, oh, look at the trees. Yeah. Hear the birds, you know? Yeah. It See, totally it's funny because I deliberately won't listen to music when I walk because I want to hear all that nature. Mm -hmm. But here's what happened to me. So this week I had to take a long 11-hour um, car drive up to Arkansas. Yeah. And um, my kids didn't go with me. Yeah. And yeah. usually on a long ride, I will listen to all my cool music and blah, blah, blah. But this ride was a more solemn ride. I was on my way to, my uncle had passed away and I was going up to take care of my grandma and my mom. And so I wasn't in the mood to listen to my happy music. Mm -hmm. I wasn't in the mood to listen to sad music either. You were so just I, thoughtful. Yeah, I literally, 11 hours in the car, I never turned the radio on one wow. time. I literally just let myself remember all the wonderful memories I had mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. just kind of, be there to myself but then on the way back um i d also didn't turn the radio on very much but there was a bunch of detours that took me off the highway through this beautiful countryside mm -hmm. in arkansas and just daydreaming oh what if i lived there with that pond and that you know yeah and it sparked, sparked up all my own daydreaming about here like re real yeah. things that oh, might yeah, be yeah. able to happen you know so it was really nice i um i remember when my youngest daughter was nine months old and I had to, uh, I was just starting to teach and I had to go get a certification down in Corpus Christi, which is like a three hour, yeah, three and a half, three and a half, four hour drive. And it was the first time I had been doing anything alone right. in, in a long, a long, long time, you know, getting married, having kids, all this uh, stuff. And at first I was very fear filled. I know. You know, I don't know how to be alone. Yeah. And I got in the car and, and I'm saying this now, this is exactly what I've been feeling this past week. Not fear filled, but just, I don't know how to be alone. Yeah. I don't know how to be alone. Yeah. And so this is super timely. And I got in the car and I did listen to my music because yeah. it was, you know. Usually I do too. And it yeah. makes me feel good. Exactly. Yeah. But it was just, I can be alone. I like myself. I like spending time with me. And it was just a re invigoration of I'm a person I'm a whole person aside from my relationships so I'm gonna encourage you to keep doing different things like this yes because it I remember oh gosh this was like five or six years ago I got just sick of everyone I got sick of my kids sick of the person mm -hmm. I was with sick of everybody mm -hmm. and I did Christmas with everyone and then I announced to everyone I am going away by myself for New Year's oh. Eve and I got in the car with my dog and I drove down to Corpus Christi mm -hmm. to some I remember this, Airbnb yeah. mm -hmm. and I just sat there. It rained the whole time. I could have cared oh, less. Yeah. I drove down by myself with my dog. I drove around on the, you know, at the beach mm -hmm. or whatever. I stayed in my Airbnb. I didn't, I didn't celebrate New Year's Eve with anybody. Yeah. But it was, I did it all by myself. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny because we did do it all by ourselves when we were younger, but we, we did. Forget. We forget that we Well, and I think that this current generation isn't getting that lesson that they can be by themselves because of that constant bombarding of information. Right. And that constant, I don't have to be alone right now. Because when you first start, it is uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. But if you keep letting yourself do it, you, A, it builds you back up again. In and, a way. and I would say even more than it builds you back up again, because for us, it yeah. does. For them, you know, for the younger generation, I think it inspires confidence. Yeah. It's like, I can do this by myself. I can be completely alone and happy. Yeah. And, and that, honestly, in any um, friendships, in any work relationships, in any romantic relationships, you need to be whole mm -hmm. before you can. That's true. Yeah, to be healthy, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tie into one other thing because mm -hmm. I just, like I said, my uncle had passed away. My grandmother, um, 
is not an extrovert like you and I. She's more of an introvert. Um, and over the weekend, I could see certain times that she would just get totally silent. Mm. And you could tell she wasn't even... Yeah. In, in you know... Processing. Processing. Anything, yeah. So I took her aside and I said, you just tell me when this is too much. You know, I'll get you out of here. And we'll, mm -hmm. we'll take mm -hmm. care of all this. And she said, no, 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 it's my responsibility right now to do this, but when it's time for everybody to leave, I need everyone to leave because I need time to myself mm -hmm. so I can process the loss of right. my son. Right. Um, and it just remind that just reminded me, switch it pro positively, that you you need time to process all sorts of things in life, not mm. not just really heavy things like this. But wow. if you're not quiet and to yourself. You're not processing. You, really you don't give are. yourself that time to process. I wonder if that can be tied to our anxiety levels now. I'm sure. And, and you know, this younger generation's general anxiety level. I wonder if it can be tied to not processing. Well, think about it. Think about our grandmother's generation. Mm -hmm. They walk a lot of places mm -hmm. and while you're walking unless you happen to be walking next to somebody you have time to yeah, yourself yeah or the chores there were a lot of chores yeah. that they then had time to themselves they didn't have their Radios playlist their, their yeah. this their that yeah. yeah yeah it was quiet time it was yeah so let's quickly um give a few ways that we can first of all I love your timed thing to start with yeah I love cool. setting a timer um, I accidentally did this the other day where I was feeling tired and I kind of sat on my couch and was relaxing in my little treehouse area and I was relaxing and I closed my eyes for a few minutes and I'm like okay you know maybe I'll nap maybe I won't whatever whatever which I don't ever nap yeah and it was 10 minutes and then I was like okay I'm ready I'm you know but it was 10 minutes of just being yeah and it was really so I love setting a timer because it can be daunting oh yeah it can be it can be daunting so for 10 minutes set a timer sit on your chair sit on your couch whatever close your eyes yep sit outside yeah when I worked time. in office buildings we used to have this koi pond mm -hmm. and my eye doctor told me every so many hours you need to get up and look far away mm -hmm. to relax mm -hmm. your eyes so I would go down to the koi pond, but really it was just very quiet. Yeah. You know, nobody else was there yeah. for 10 or 15 minute break. And I went back up and could do more work. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh yeah. Re yeah. Um, so just putting a timer, being quiet, taking a drive to nowhere, yep. just taking a drive. Um, maybe uh, if you do exercise, take, a, you know, like a treadmill, take a walk, whatever. Um, I like when I lift weights sometimes too, you know, just maybe for 10 minutes, don't play your music this week. Yeah. yeah. You could sit by the lake. Mm -hmm. You could sit somewhere, anywhere. You could sit yeah. in a park. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun too. Yeah. And hearing nature. Yeah. All right. Well, um, join us next week. We are on TikTok with our motivation moment mm -hmm. daily. Mm -hmm. um, Getmorehappy.com. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We um, have been uh, doing our blog as questions, and we love when you guys send your questions yes. in. So please send more. Have a great day. Bye.